welcome to my kitchen. I've been asked to share with you guys uh, some easy, healthy, budget-friendly recipes. So today I'm going to share a chicken, quinoa and veggie pot one pot uh, dish which you uh, can reproduce. If you wanted to, you can add vegetables, you can uh, take some vegetables, uh, swap some vegetables. You don't have to follow uh, the exact recipe that I will be showing you, but it will give you an idea of what you can do quickly, easily, and healthily as well. So let's see what ingredients I have. I have some chicken thighs. I've got a big pot. I've got a small pot where I'm going to make some stock, but if you have some stock, you could use that straight away. Um, I have some leeks, celery, olive oil, and uh, the stock powder. That's all I need. Oh, I obviously, quinoa as well, which um, I have rinsed. So, quinoa, I have 300 gram quinoa. I have about uh, seven pieces of chicken and uh, one whole big leek and uh, a few stalks of celery. I am probably also going to add some uh, peas, garden peas at the end as well. So, first of all, I have 300 grams of quinoa, so I have 900 ml of water. I'm going to add four tablespoons of uh, stock. As for the instructions on the pack, teaspoons actually, not tablespoons. So let's start by doing that. One, two, three, four. And let's get that to boil as well. Normally, I would use my kettle, I would boil the water. And I would just add the stock at the end. Unfortunately, my kettle decided to, uh, to die on me yesterday, no, the day before. So, no kettle. We're going back to all methods of boiling water on the hob. In the big pot, in the meantime, I'm going to add some olive oil. I don't tend to measure how much. And I'm going to warm it up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sear the chicken first because searing the chicken means that the juice is staying, gets a little bit brown as well as opposed to staying white and it gives that extra flavour. So skin down, I'm going to put the chicken in the pot. And I'm also going to add the celery because the celery takes a little bit more time to, uh, to cook than, than leek. And I like it to uh, be nice and soft as opposed to a little bit crunchy. So chicken is in. I'm going to add the celery. And I'm going to leave that for about five minutes approximately. And as you can see, let me show you. So I've got the chicken and the celery in the pot with some olive oil that I added. Um, the stock is cooking. And by the time the chicken will be ready, the stock should be ready as well. I'm going to take the plastic away. I'm going to wash it and recycle it as we can. I'm going to take a wooden spoon as well as um, something to stone the meat. And I don't at this moment in time need to cover the pot at all. Let me put the camera a little bit lower so you can see the pot. You might not see me. But at least you'll see the pot. Already, you should be able to hear the meat, which is quite nice. And by the time the stock will be ready, the rest will be ready to be added to the pot. 
Let me find the lid for that one. The one thing that I didn't prepare. Here it is. So yes, chopping the veg took me probably an extra minute or two, two, three minutes. Obviously you have to wash them as well. Uh, I rinsed the quinoa. So let's see how long it's going to take to prepare the dish. Cooking wise, um, it's dependent on the quinoa. And um, as for the pat, it says, uh, stir and cover for about 20 minutes and that's it. So, this dish should be ready in about half an hour, 35 minutes, all in all. And you've got a lovely dish um, that is healthy, budget friendly. I'm going to add in the notes the exact cost of uh, the whole meal because whatever I'm going to tell you now might not be the same in a few months' time, who knows? Every time I go to the supermarket, um, the prices are going up. So, uh, obviously the bigger pack you, you buy of meat, the cheaper it will be. Um, if the leek or the celery is on special offer, it works for it as well. With part of the chicken, I uh, make some chicken soup as well, so I use the rest of the celery in the soup. So nothing goes to waste at all. So I have, as you can see, a big pot of chicken soup here. And, um, yeah, so nothing is going to waste as As you can see, the water starts to heat up and hopefully boil very shortly for the stock. I'm going to start turning the meat round and show you what it looks like. It's just to sear it a little bit so that um, it's not white white, it's nice and brown. And the celery is next to it and slowly get a head start on the rest as well. So that meat was about two minutes. As you can see, it's a little bit browner than it was. Now I'm doing two minutes the other side. And in the meantime, the stock is nearly boiling. And so I'll be able to add the rest of the stuff in the pot and close the pot, cook for about 20 minutes and then we'll come back to see the end result. I'd love to hear from you what kind of dishes you'd like to, uh, to, to learn to make. What kind of food do you like to eat? The more you share with me, the more I can make sure that Whatever I'm going to share with you is what you like to eat and how to make it healthy on a budget. Now towards the end, not uh, right now, I'm going to add some, as I said, green peas as well, garden peas. The reason, or petit pois, whatever you want to call them. The reason why I don't add them now is uh, I don't want them too, too mushy at all. So it's nice to have them still with a little bit of crunch. So I'm going to add them probably five minutes before the end of cooking. So the stock is on the point of boiling and the chicken is nearly two minutes on either side. Being done, there you go, the stock is boiling. So I'm going to add the, I'm going to add the leaf. And by the way, the leek is lovely because if you've never eaten leek, it's got a little bit of an oniony taste. Ooh. And uh, really tasty, very nice. And uh, I just love it. 
We've got lots of goodies in it when it comes to vitamins and minerals. There we go. Let's add the quinoa. Now, salt and pepper, I would only add um, at the end. And the reason for that is that the stock is quite salty by itself. So it's already going to give a lot of flavor. And it will be totally up to you if you feel you need some extra salt or pepper in it as well. So personally, I think that the stock will be enough. But totally up to you if you want to or not. All right. So the stock is ready. I'm going to add it to the pot. Probably should have stirred a little bit. Okay. Stir a little bit so that the whole of the quinoa is covered with the stock. And what we're going to do is put the uh, uh, it on low heat and let it simmer for 20 minutes. Oh, it's the wrong leg. But put the lid on. I know it's the wrong one. Not a good idea. Where's the right leg then? Results as well, and remember, in 15 minutes, I am going to add some uh, green peas and uh, just to add some green veg to it as well. So, see you all in 20 minutes for the end result. I'm back. It took a little bit longer than I expected it, only because I think the quantity of it is a little bit bigger than. Um, what you would normally have with quinoa. So, let's uh, find a serving spoon. Let me show you what it looks in the pot. So as you can see, the celery is nice and, you know, cooked. The peas are there. The, uh, the leek is nicely cooked. The chicken is lovely and cooked. Let's put some stuff on the plate. don't think I need to add any salt and pepper but what you get here is a piece of chicken and some quinoa and lots of veg green veg so a lovely healthy meal on one plate steaming hot so I won't taste it straight away but uh, easy, quick-ish, and uh, cheap as well, as I said. I will put the uh, costing of all the ingredients uh, in the comments, and so that you will know exactly how much it costs per serving, which is actually not that much, because in here, as we said, we had seven pieces of chicken, uh, one leek, and nearly a whole pack of celery, a whole pack of quinoa, a little bit of stock in water, obviously, uh, some peas, I put in five handful of peas, frozen peas, and that's about it really. So yeah, you have a little bit of gas and a meal for seven people, potentially some, um, some boxes that you can put in the freezer and reheat at another time. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you like this recipe. Let me also know if there's anything else you would like me to, sh to, to cook specifically. Show you a healthy version, show you a quick version, 
and show you a cheap version. That's it for now.